guys, today is going to be another DIY tutorial. It's going to be Christmassy, yay! It's how to make a Christmas bubble. So you, this is what it's going to look like. No! It's an, I'm using this wrapping paper. It won't be perfect unless you have this. If you have this wrapping paper, or you could just use normal paper with glitter on it. Um, but... I'm just going to warn you, it's not going to look perfect. So, you're going to need some wrapping paper, a bowl, a no. piece of paper, a hole puncher, um, some scissors, and some sellotape. Okay, the first thing you need to do is cut out a small piece of wrapping paper. And... What you're going to do is, is you're going to put it down, going to put it down on the paper, just like this, and you're going to fold each corner in, like this, as I said, it won't be perfect, and then fold each corner in. And this is going to be your bubble. So if you don't like this wrapping paper, just... Yeah. I like this wrapping paper, so Whoa. I'm just going to use this one. And then what you need to do is you need to get some sellotape. I'd recommend using this one like this. Um, and just sellotape all around where you fold it so it's stuck down really well. Because we don't want it to come out or anything. And if you used a bouncy ball, then you have a two-in-one bauble that you can put on a tree and a bouncy ball. So, yeah, great idea. As I said, it won't be perfect. It's maybe a bit lumpy, but it's DIY. Be creative. Then the next thing you want to do is take your paper and cut a tiny, whiny square in the corner literally not that big what i did is i cut one like this and then what you need to do is you need to is you need to fold this a little bit just so that fold it and then let it down like that so you've got like an l shape l shape then what you need to do, you need to get your hole puncher and can you see the bit that's folded here? You don't hole punch that. Hole punch it up the top. I'm just going to stick that there. Right, so my hole punch went a bit long, but in out. It's not coming out. Okay, so I have my hole. My first one went a bit long. Right. Let's take that out. Done. There, so I got my circle here. And I forgot to mention at the start, you're going to need some string. And what you're going to do with a bit that's sellotaped, you're just going to put the folded bit on there, get some sellotape, and then sellotape over that little bit there. And just fold that. So you have this. Then I forgot to mention in the start that you're going to need some string as well. So while my nana goes and gets some string for me, well, my assistant can get some string for me, I'm just going to maybe sellotape a little bit more around where I just put that because it's a little bit messy. 
to just flatten it out a little bit. Okay, so I got my string, and you don't need that much. That probably about that long. That's about it. And what you need to do is put it through the hole and pull it through so it's even and then tie it at the top but make sure you have a hole so that you can hang it on the tree and you want to tie it a couple of times just so we you know that it will stay And there you have your own Christmas bauble. So I'm just gonna put that on my tree. Um, I'm gonna put mine here. Like that. Ah, 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 Jack Reese, Jack Reese, and Jack Reese. Don't take them off. Where is it? And there it is, hanging off my tree. So thanks guys for watching. I know this is not perfect, it's not the perfect one that you can do, but that's the way I like to do my Christmas balls. It doesn't look exactly like this, obviously. Don't you take them off. You, you can't do that. You can't do that. So, you know, thanks guys for watching. Bye. See you, see you in my next video. Right, come on you, mate.